Hey, welcome back to another structural kinesiology video with Dr. Gooden. In this video, we will be looking at joint movements of the elbow and radial ulnar joints. Okay, here we are back at the slides and we'll be talking about movements of the elbow and radial ulnar joints. Just like there's synergy between the shoulder girdle and shoulder joint, there's synergy between the glenohumeral elbow and radial ulnar joints. So for instance, if we're performing an action at the radial ulnar joint, and it's going through its range of motion, the glenohumeral and elbow muscles will contract either to stabilize or to assist in the effectiveness of the movement at the radial ulnar joints. So for example, to tighten the screw, we supinate at the radial ulnar joint, righty tighty, but also I'm extending at the elbow joint and flexing at the shoulder joint. I'm doing those motions simultaneously in order to put pressure into the screw and create uh, more friction between it and the screwdriver so that there's grip and so that my supination is enhanced. If I'm loosening a screw, okay, so loosening it, lefty loosey, now I'm pronating at the radial ulnar joint, but as the screw comes out, I will be flexing at the elbow and extending at the shoulder to bring that screw out. Same thing when you open or close a door um, with a doorknob. So these joints work synergistically with each other. So to summarize that, we depend on both the agonists and the antagonists in the surrounding joints. So the joints um, up and down the kinetic chain from whatever the key joint is that we're moving from uh, to assist in an appropriate amount of stabilization and assistance with whatever the task is. So the elbow's pretty easy. It's just a hinge joint, so it has two movements possible in the sagittal plane. Uh, we have flexion, where you close that angle between the humerus and the radio, um, radius and ulna, and extension, where you increase that angle. Both of those are happening in the sagittal plane from anatomical position. We also have now pronation and supination at the radial ulnar joint. And notice that pronation is where we're rotating so that the thumb is going towards the midline. And the person in this, um, in this picture is not in anatomical position. Okay, so she's already flexed at the elbow, uh, which makes it maybe a little bit trickier to deduce, but if you're in anatomical position and you're rotating your thumb towards the midline, then that's pronation. If you're holding a bowl of soup where your palm has to be up, then that would be supination. Okay, so thumb, towards the lateral aspect of your body, holding a bowl of soup for supination. Thanks so much for sticking around with me to the end of the video. I hope that the joint movements of the elbow and radial ulnar joint are a little bit clearer for you now. But if not, leave any questions that you have for me down in the comments. I would love to interact with you there. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe to the content. And to continue learning about these regions, head on over to this video for the muscle actions of these regions. If you missed any of the structural kinesiology videos in this series, go ahead and go over to this playlist over here where all of the videos that I've done so far on this topic are in one nice package for you. I appreciate you watching.